All right, first and foremost, I'm going to start off by saying, Kohola Yehawah, Bahashim Yehawah Shai, Bahashim Rakal Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And I shalom to you, sincere Akiam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And with that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video, Lord's willing. It'll be edifying. Um, not not sure what I'm going to title the video yet. Um, but, you know, that that's nonetheless not important. I'll figure it out, you know, spirit, you know the spirit will, uh, Lord's willing, give me a, a good title for it. But anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go into recall Kodash as usual. Um, got a couple video. Well, I got one video that, video that I really wanted to play and I um, wanted to point out a couple things. All right. A um, couple scriptures, you know. You know how I usually do it, you know, going to Rakak Dash, like I said, all right? Lord's willing, it'll be edifying. All right, so let's get it popping. All right, the first scripture that I'm going to start with is going to be um, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. The main point that, I, that, I'm, that is going to be in um, verse 12, okay? Isaiah 14 and 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Probably, yeah. Matter of fact, that's probably what I what I call this uh, video. Might be, you know, probably. How art thou, Isaiah fourteen and twelve? How art thou, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nation? Okay, which didst weaken the nations? Okay. So, like I said, that's the main point. That's probably what I'll title it. But I'm going to start up at um, Isaiah 14 and 1. Okay? So it says, For the Lord Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And we know that's talking about the Israelite foreigners. Okay? Okay, and it says, verse 2, it says, And the people shall take them and bring their place, And the people shall take them and bring to their place, And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord, Yahweh, for servants and handmaids. And that's talking about the other nations, all right? Okay, it says, And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. They, they were, okay? It's more solidify that. That's talking about the other nations, all right? Who had us in slavery, okay? The the, the Esau, the Red Hebrew Edomites, and, and other nations, okay? It says, And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors, okay? Um, which, uh, matter of fact, which kind of... I, we, we, I, I'll segue back to this scripture here. Okay, we'll stop it here at a um, perfect time to bring up this scripture. Because that's kind of what the theme of this uh, lesson is going to be, you know. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2, okay. It says, when the righteous are in authority, okay. And who's the righteous? Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, okay. When, 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 and that's what Yahweh Shai is getting ready to do. To put things back in its proper order, all right. And that's what we're waiting for, okay. A new heavens and a new earth, uh, you know. A new heavens. Uh, where in dwelling, dwelleth the righteousness on earth, okay? Because the wicked is ruling right now. Esau, Edom, okay? So it says, back in Proverbs 20, 20, 29 and 2, it says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, all right? And all the people, okay? The whole earth, matter of fact, is going to rejoice, okay? When the Habashim Shai it comes back, you know? And, 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 you know, restores the kingdom, okay? But it says what this, but when the wicked beareth rule, and according to Job 9 and 24, we know what that says, right? It says, but when the wicked beareth rule, I mean, it's like a Job 9 and 24, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked, okay? It says, but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn, okay? And the people are mourning, man, okay? Because what? The people are, are being oppressed, okay? Uh, let me get the word, the definition of mourn right quick. Um, H58, H584, it looks like a knock, it looks like a knock. Strong's H584, a knock, a knock. 
It says um, to sigh, groan, in pain or grief, gasp, moan, okay? So the people are sighing, groaning, the people are in pain and grief, okay? Because what? They're being oppressed, all right? Okay? You see? So, um, let's, um, let's jump over to a, cu a couple things right quick. Perfect time to, um, this is the main video, video that I wanted to, um, I'm going to play. I'm going to play, I'm not, I'm not probably not going to play all of it, but I want to play this video. But real quick, um, I, I just happened to stumble across this, and, um, I forget what I was looking at, and I, I happened to stumble across these, the this thing, and I just started looking this up, man. Which we know, I've noticed it too, and brothers, especially out there in California, out there in the Bay, the brothers over there, they've um went into it a lot about how the homeless epidemic, you know, you see. So you know that's kind of what, what we're gonna get into, you know, and also the civil unrest. Okay, that's what this this video is gonna be about. Okay, this one here. All right, but but the the reason, like I said, that these things are happening is, like I said, because the wicked are, are, are bearing 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 rule. All right, and they're oppressing the people. All right, you know that's why I, I said I'm gonna probably title it, um, "How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, that did is weaken the nations?" Okay, you know, but um, check this. I'm not gonna play none of these videos. You can you can do a search for yourself. Okay, just I typed in homeless epidemic, right? And the, these are this is recent, man. Look at all these videos, man. Inside LA's homeless epidemic, okay. Um, explosive truth about homeless crisis in USA. So not just um, um, not just in LA, in America. I know in, in, in Florida, I know there's a a, a big a homeless uh, problem, especially downtown Orlando and and uh, all these other neighboring city in, in Florida, okay, you see, uh, especially in Cali, Cali, it looks like, but not, you know, Liverpool homeless epidemic, oh yeah, that too, because, um, I got family members in, uh, in, uh, in the UK, and they were saying that there's a big homeless epidemic in, 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 uh, England too, in London, you know, a lot of the, um, immigrants are sleeping on the ground in the streets and stuff, you know, Hey, the brothers were going into how in um how in uh in in in, in Cali, like in, in the Bay and stuff, you you know you, you walking past shit, you know, you know they're actually piles of human feces on on the ground, man, you know, you know, home see the homeless epidemic is the UK failing, so you see it, you see why Japan or see. Um, but you, you get the point, man, all right, and that, that led me to th these videos, man, all right, and it's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of women, man, you know, so-called Edomite women, you know, living in my car, right, I just typed in living in car in, on YouTube, you, you're basically homeless if you're living in your car, man, okay, that's a lot of, and they're all happy, what, what is there to be happy about, you living in your damn car, man, okay, you know, you, you gotta worry about where you're sleeping, you know, people, you know, you see, let me, let me just show you something, and this is recent, man, three months ago, you see, and, and, and it's a lot of them, this is just probably the popular, you know, popular, uh, see, here goes sister here, here go Eve, he says, I got laid off living in my car, two week update, living in my Jeep Wrangler seven months ago, damn, you see, the women, damn, damn, boy, y'all lamenting for the teeth, real, <laughs> we're in them times, man, damn, okay, here go, here go, uh, a brother, Jake, save money, living in your car, yeah, because the, 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 the rent, you got, you got people living in people's damn rooms, you know, you know, you get the idea, urban stealth camping, you know, living in, uh, living in Honda Civic, damn, a Civic, you living in a Civic, man, these people, Look, I got get, catch a hell out here, man. You know? Let's see. Living in truck. First night living in my truck three months ago. It's a lot, and it's a lot of Edomites. Okay? Living in my pickup. Okay? 
They doing bad, man. Okay. You see? Just showing you. You could do your own uh, urban stealth truck camping at Walmart one month ago. E Edomites, man. Okay. They, they catching hell out here, man. Here go another female living in truck, in truck bed, you know. Let's see. Living in living in a van, okay? Living in a minivan five days ago. Living in a minivan, the frozen north. Wow. Cheap heat for, for van living. Oh, yeah, I had watched this dude, too. Yeah, living in a minivan. It's an Edomite. See, it's a lot of Edomites, man. Okay? Best stealth camping. Uh, that's camping. That's a lot. It says, it's over. Return to van life. Living on the road. You get the idea. Okay? All right. And like I said, there's a major homeless epidemic. And if you're living it out of your car, you, you're you're basically homeless, man. Okay, so let me get, get a couple definitions real quick. It says, this is the definition of a home, right? It says, one one's place of residence, a domicile, okay? It says, a house, uh, the social unit formed by a family living together, a familiar or usual setting, all right? It says, habitat, a place of origin, um, an establishment providing residence and care for people with special needs, uh... At home, relaxed and comfortable, at ease. Yeah, you're supposed to feel comfortable and at ease at your home, man. It's you. You can't be at, at ease living in a um in, out of your vehicle, man. Okay, and they try and they these people are so backwards and so oppressed and so sleep. They 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 don't even realize that uh, how you know how bad they they got it, man. Okay, you see, and it's gonna man, <sighs> wow. I don't, I don't even know what to say. Um, yeah, man. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I don't really. You know, we know what a home is, right? So let's see what homeless definition is. It says, uh, this is off of Google. It says homeless. It says of a person without a home and therefore typically living on the streets. And if you're living in your car, or you living in your street, man, you living on, you, you got to move from parking lot to parking lot. You're basically homeless, man. And I bet you they don't count them when when they're counting the homeless, okay? And you got a lot of people that's staying with other people, you know, going from house to house and stuff like that. So it's a big homeless uh, problem in America, Babylon the Great, not to mention in the world, man, okay? But 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 what did Proverbs say? Because the wicked bear is ruling, man, okay? So you see? It says, uh, when the righteous are in authority... The people rejoice, but when the wicked bear its rule, the people mourn. Okay, and we looked up that word. It means uh, sigh, groan, and pain or grief. Okay, and that, that's grievous, man. That's grievous, man. You you you, you might freeze to death, man. You know, you, you see, out there living in your car. Okay, somebody might rob you. All type of stuff, man. That's not a way you can't. You you can You got no damn. No, we no place. To, a lot of them. Um, I was watching some of them. They they uh they they don't get gym memberships, so they could go shower in public gyms. You know, get YMC like all type of ways to to, to shave to to cut corners to um make a dollar. You know, to say make ends meet. You know, I was watching. They got Uber drivers and Lyft drivers that that live out of their cars. You know, you would never know. You know, sleeping in their cars and then getting up and driving for Uber. You know. This is hell out here, man. Okay, hey, but hey, we in them times, man. It's beautiful though. It's beautiful if you can receive it. All right. Let me jump over to Deuteronomy. I'm gonna start at chapter. I mean, uh, Deuteronomy seven and six. Right. The main point though is gonna be in uh, verse fifteen, I believe. Yep. All right. The main point point is gonna be in verse fifteen. All right. It says Deuteronomy seven and fifteen, and the Lord Yahweh will take away all the all. And the Lord Yahweh will take away from thee all sickness, and put none of e and put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou knowest upon thee, meaning all the curses that 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 fell upon us for disobeying Yahweh Shai, He was going to remove them. All right, and listen to this. 
after he removed them, he was going to do something with the curses. It says, because everything is balanced, right? It, there's, there's, it's hot, there's cold, there's up, there's down, you know? So it, you got to do something, all right? So, it's, you know, it just doesn't disappear, all right? It says, and the Lord Yahweh will take away from the all the all sick from the all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou knowest upon thee, which lay but will lay them upon all them that hate thee. Okay. So I guess that's the main point, but I'm I'm gonna start up some. All right. Uh this is uh, Deuteronomy seven and six. Okay, it says, For thou art an holy people. Who is he talking about? Yasharala, Israel, okay? And holy means separate, okay? All right? It says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord Yahweh thy power. The Lord Yahweh thy power have, hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, okay? Above all people, all right? Above all nations, all right? All right? We are the apple of his eye, all right? We are his peculiar treasure, all right? It says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The Lord Yahweh thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord Yahweh did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord Yahweh loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he have which he had sworn unto your fathers, who is it, who? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay? It says, but but because the Lord Yahweh loved you, and because he would keep the oath that which he had sworn unto your fathers, because what he is not a man that he should lie, right? It says, Have the Lord Yahweh brought you out of the out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And he did it once and he's gonna do it again. Alright? He's doing it now. All right. It says, "Know therefore that the Lord Yahweh, thy power, he is, he is power, the faithful power which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments." Because what he said, "If you love me, keep my commandments." All right. He's supposed to do what the Lord said, man. Rehearse the righteous acts. Okay. Feed the sheep. All right. All right. It says, "Know, know therefore that the Lord Yahweh, thy power, he is power." The faithful power which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations and repayeth them, listen to this, and repayeth them that hate them that hate him to their face. And that's what Jehovah Shem is about to do, man. He's a, he's he's about to return to to, to, to to recompense you damn devils, man. Alright? He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna repay uh Two thirds of his own people, okay, because they're wicked, all right. They're of their father, the devil Esau, Edom, and, and he's gonna repay you, you heathen nations, man. All of you, all of you that play the hand in our downfall, all right? Okay, you see, it says, and he said he's not gonna meet the, meet you as a man, okay? You see, it says Deuteronomy seven and ten. It says, and re, and repayeth them that hate them that flock it. Hey, because what he said, Slot, he said what? All them that, that uh, wish not that I reign over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. All right? Because what? He's the king of kings, lord of lords, man. Okay? All right? It says Deuteronomy 7 and 8, and we're joint ears with, with him. Okay? Lord's willing, we be those men we keep enduring. Okay? So it says um, Deuteronomy 7 and 10, and repayeth them that hate him to their face. To destroy, hey, that's what he said, and them that pierce me, man, okay? It says, and repay of them that hate him to their face, to destroy them. He will, hey, exactly, he ain't coming to pass out hugs and kisses, okay? He's coming to kick ass, man, all right? It says, and repay of them that hate him to their face, to destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hated, that hateth him. He will repay him to his face, and who hates him more than Esau Edom, okay? That's why he blasphemed him. That's why he, he painted his likeness like him, okay? You, get, you see? He, he blasphemed him. He said he was the most high, okay? That's the ultimate act of hate. He tried to cut. He tried to wipe his name out of existence. He tried to destroy his people, okay? He tried to cut us off that the name of the Lord be no more remembrance, man, okay? 
He hates he hates Yahweh. He hates Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and his and his men. All right, he, and his people. Okay, okay. Good. That and that's a perpetual hatred that Esau Edom had, man, from the womb. Okay, you see, that's why they they try to do things like like kill the firstborn. You see, you see, that's hate, man. All right. It says, and repay them that hate him to their face to destroy them. That's why it says uh, in Isaiah 14 and 21, prepare slaughter, okay, for his children. Matter of fact, let me get it, okay. Salakia, might as well, since I'm in Isaiah already, all right. This is Isaiah chapter 14, uh, uh, let me start at 20, <coughs> Salakia. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 20. It says, Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of the evildoers shall never be renowned. And who is that? Esau Edom and his whole house. Okay. It says, Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, the sins. Okay. Sin upon sin upon sin. That's what iniquity is. Okay. All the wickedness, the sins of of Esau, Edom, has piled up to the heavens, man. You, you, can't, you can't even keep up with all the wickedness that this man has done, all right? I was meditating on that the other day. I was like, you know, that's why the scriptures say, let not your sins weigh you down, man, okay? Because I was thinking a little bit of bullshit, which it ain't really bullshit, okay? Because you're supposed to o obey the Lord, man. Obey is better than sacrifice. You're supposed to try to your best to keep the laws the best you can. But we're we're in this flesh, and and you're subject to you're subject to sin, man. All right, the, you know. But anyway, I, I was thinking a little bit of bullshit uh, laws that we're breaking it, it ain't nothing in comparison to what Esau Edom was doing, man. This dude is doing all manner of wickedness, man. This dude is killing by the millions, okay? Start, you know, doing all type of wickedness behind closed doors. All right, you know. Who and but you how about him? How sees sees everything. All right, that's why don't let you sit. We we ain't doing nothing compared to the to, to the Esau Edom. All right, that's why it says the seed of the evildoers shall never be renowned. Okay, they doing all type of wickedness, man, kidnapping little children, all type of fuckery. Okay, you know, fuck just fucking with the men of the Lord, doing all type of fuckery. All right, you know, hunting our steps. All right, because there's a perpetual hatred, man. All right. You know, they smile in your face, but behind your back, they, they plotting on you and doing all type of wickedness to you, okay? You know? So it says, prepare, Isaiah 14 and 21, it says, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, okay? That they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fulfill, nor fill the face of the world with, with cities, okay? For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, Yehobachim, Yehoshad, and cut off from Babylon... The name and remnant and son and nephew, saith the Lord Yahweh. I will also make it a possession for the bittern and pools of, and pools of water. I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, saith the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Okay, all right. So that's talking about the nuclear missiles, man. All right. This place is going to be a lake of fire. All right. Babylon the Great, which is America. Okay. So. Salakia, back in Deuteronomy, <laughs> Salakia, all over the place, um, okay, back in Deuteronomy 7 and 9, it says, know therefore that the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, he is power, the faithful power, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him, and keep his commandments to a thousand generations, and repayeth them that hate him to their face. To destroy them, he will not be slack to him that hateth him. He will repay him to his face. Thou shalt therefore keep the commandments and, and the statutes and judgments which I command thee this day to do them. And that's a cut to all you Christians that say the law is done away with. Okay? It says, Wherefore it shall come to pass, if ye hearken to these judgments, that's what's going to get us out of here, obeying. Obey is better than sacrifice. Eat the roll and then go out there and teach the children. Feed the sheep, man. Okay, wake up the elect, go out there and fish. Okay, it says, Wherefore, if, if it shall come to pass, if ye hearken to these judgments and to and keep and to do them, that the Lord thy power, Yahweh shy, 
shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy which he swore which he swear unto thy fathers Abraham Isaac and Jacob Abraham Isaac and Jacob it says and he will love thee and bless thee and multiply thee he will also bless the fruit of thy womb and the fruit of thy land the, thy corn and thy thy wine and thine oil the increase of thy thy kin and the flocks of thy sheep, and the land which he swear unto thy fathers to give thee. Thou shalt be blessed above all people. And that's this is a future prophecy. It's, 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 start, it's being manifest right now. It's starting to be manifest now, okay? It says, thou shalt be blessed above all people. And why are we blessed now? Because we have this truth. We have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We're light years ahead of, of, of above, above these people, man, okay? We have the Comforter, okay? We have the Yahweh Bashim Shai and the Rakak Wadash, all right? Yahweh Bashim Shai is dealing with us, man. He's supping with us, okay? The angels are protecting us, okay? You know, they're rooting for us, okay? You see? So we're already blessed, all right? You know, we get chastened, we get chastised, and we get chastened, but that's just to keep us, keep us humble and keep us on the straight and narrow, keep us on that straight path, okay? That straight, that straight gate, okay? It says, thou shalt be blessed above, above all people, all right? Because if the Lord wasn't chastening you, hey, he doesn't love you, all right? You know, it says, thou shalt be blessed above, above all people. There shall not be male or female barren among you or among your cattle. And that's, that's what's going to happen in the kingdom, man. It's going to be, man, beautiful. It says, and the Lord Yahweh will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of, e none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou knowest upon thee, but will lay upon them all, but will lay them upon all that hate thee. Okay, and thou shalt consume all the people which the Lord Yahweh thy power shall deliver thee. Thine eyes, then I, thine eyes shall have no pity upon them, neither shall thou serve their gods, for that will be a snare unto thee. All right. So. With that being said, let's jump into these video, this video. If you get the idea about the homeless, that's pretty much self-explanatory. And you, and, and, and you, now that I mentioned it, start paying attention to wherever you're at. When you're driving around, walking around, traveling around, look at how look at how many people are homeless, man. All right, and, and who knows how many people are living in their cars secretly? All right, and and the thing is, they they put on they 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 uh, put on a facade, okay. They put on for, for Instagram and social media and Facebook, and you will never know, man. People going through hell, okay? Which which leads to this video here, okay? I'm going to play a little bit of it. I probably will, I, I might just interject a little bit. I'm going to probably just, uh, I, I, I don't want to make this video too long, man, all right? But basically, like we keep saying, we're a broken record. We're in them times, man, all right? Sedition amongst men, just like the Lord said, all right? There's about to be a race war. There's about to be a uh, class wars, you know? You know, all type of wars, you know? So, hey, Jacob's trouble is on his way, man. It's already taken place in, in, in some of the Latin countries and in other places around the world. But it's coming speedily to Babylon the Great, man. All right? Okay? So it says, a crosstalk on political divide. Unci uncivil society. Okay? Off of RT. From November 27th, uh, 2019, the year of Karagma. All right? So... Let's get it. Hello and welcome to Crosstalk, where all things are considered. I'm Peter Lavelle. It's an understatement to say America is a very divided country. Many have even spoken openly about the possibility of civil war. What is tearing the country apart? What is keeping it together? It cannot only be about Donald Trump. What will it take to start a sustained social and political dialogue before it's too late? And it's already too late, all right? The scripture said that if it was possible, take bomb, it would heal, Bob, Bab, it would heal Babylon. But there is no bomb, okay? This place is through. You're not going to make America great again. And I know you I'm, I'm going to rewind this so you can hear it loud and clear. There's been open talk about civil war. Civil war, all right? Just like we said, there's about to be a race war, civil wars, class wars, all type of sedition amongst men, 
all right? For the lack of bread, you know, the love of many shall wax cold, man, all right? You know, it's about to be, it's about to get real, man, all right? You got these, 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 uh, these, um, uh, doomsday preppers, e Esau, Edom, they not, they not, Jake is in La La Land, okay? Two-thirds of Israel is not paying attention, they sleep, and now I'm talking about northern and southern kingdom, okay? Both kingdoms is in La La Land, okay? Okay, they're going to understand when it's too late. But Esau, Edom, you got a lot of these Edomites, you know, that, that are prepping. And, 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 and uh, you got the militia. You got a lot of people that's paying attention, man. Okay, they watching Fox News. They watching alter alternative media. All right, a lot of these Edomites have good jobs, man. So-called good jobs, okay, or, or plugged in, all right? You know, plugged into the stock market, plugged into different corporations. Like I said, you got military families, okay? plugged into the wars, they know what's coming, man, okay, not to mention they see us, they're not stupid, Esau Edom is not stupid, man, when it, when it comes to certain, he searches things out, man, okay, especially when it regards his ass, all right, and, and his downfall and his judgment, you best believe they may talk shit, and they may scoff and scorn, because they don't want to let you see that fear in their face, okay, in front of you, but behind you, behind your back, they're, they're look, looking stuff up, man, Okay, searching, they, they accomplish a diligent search, okay? They know this place is through. And they, they're prepping, man. They're, they're getting their guns up, you know? They're watching, okay? They're hoping it doesn't come to that. They're hoping, you know? They're hoping Trump is going to make America great again. But, you know, they're, 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 they're uh, on the air of caution also, okay? But Jake, like I said, Northern and Southern Kingdom is in La La Land. They think they're living their, be their best life. Okay, they think they about to catch Esau Edom and surpass him. Okay, all right, they're in for a very rude awakening. All right. Civil war. Okay. Sedition amongst men. Uproar to the people. Just like Yahweh Shai said. Hello and welcome to Crosstalk, where all things are considered. I'm Peter Lavelle. It's an understatement to say America is a very divided country. Many have even spoken openly about the possibility of civil war. What is tearing the country apart? What is keeping it together? It cannot only be about Donald Trump. What will it take to start a sustained social and political dialogue before it's too late? Talking the political divide, I'm joined by my guest, Jen Kearns in New York. She is a GOP strategist, contributor to The Daily Caller, as well as the founder of Women for a Great America. Also in New York, we have Rich Castaldo. He is a political strategist and tech CEO. And in Washington, we cross to Arvind Bora. He is a Libertarian Party presidential candidate, as well as author of the book, Pull Out, Men, Modern Life, and Mutiny. All right, Crosstalk Rules in Effect, that means you can jump in, in any time you want, and I always appreciate it. Arvind, let me go to you first. I love the title of your book, by the way. I think it's, it sounds fascinating. It makes me want to read it. You're kind of the odd person out on this panel, so I'm going to go to you first here and reflect upon what I said in my introduction if you could quite in a short way i asked the questions what is tearing the country apart but what's keeping it together and that's the tension here what is keeping it together and what is dividing the country what's keeping it together is how much we still got work to do that's why the famine of the word hasn't fully commenced okay okay what the doors of mercy are drastically closing okay all right you know, that like like the, like it says in Revelations. You know, uh, he's holding the, the the four angels are holding the winds back, okay, until the, the 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 until the elect are sealed, okay. But we getting close, okay, we're getting very close, all right. You know, every everything is in order, everything is in line, okay. The beast, the beast, uh, NATO and the EU, the rebirth of the Roman Empire, the whore, everything, Babylon the Great, everything. The, the, the infrastructure to, to roll in this RF, this cashless society, you know, which is going to lead to the, you know, the mandatory implementation of the RFID microchip, okay? Their 5G networks, okay? They've, they've got everything, in, their ducks in a row. Their legislation is passed, okay? They've got their, 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 their troops trained, their military deployed, you know? They've got their, they've got their nukes uh, primed and tested, 
Okay? Everything, the foundation for this thing is ready. The theater of wars is laid, man. All right? Okay? You know? We just waiting on Yahweh to give the green light. All right? Everybody's waiting. Yahweh shines. When Yahweh shines, waiting. The angels are waiting. The men are waiting. All right? You know? We sign and crying, hasten in the day, okay? But we close, man. Very close. Go ahead, in Washington. What's dividing the country right now is a deep level of, in my opinion, partisan entrenchment. And what we have is you have some people who are going to side with Trump no matter what, even when he acts against basic conservative principles. You know, when Trump does a gun restriction, a gun ban, a silencer ban, a bump stock ban, that's something that should enrage conservatives. But having dug in on that side, they're just sticking to it no matter what. On the other side, you have progressives that no matter what... Some they're sticking with it because they're not stupid. They see, they're, but they're, 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 they, they, have, they have hope. They're hoping. They're keeping hope alive. He's the great white hope, you know, if you can receive it, all right? But also, they stocking up their guns still, all right? I know personally, all right? So any little thing happen, they go out, Edomites, they go out and go buy bullets and ammo like a motherfucker. They go out and buy these AR-15. They buy, they buying up these guns by the, by the, by the woodwork, man, or by the cases. Trust me, all right? They, they strapped, all right? You know? They keep him, they, they, but they hoping, they hoping, they hoping he's going to make things right. But they done, they done, they, but like, like the guy said, and I know what they're going to go into it. They done said, that's, he's the last hope, man. If, if he ain't, if he don't make it right, hey, it's a, it's civil war, man. If you impeach this man, we going to war. They, you know, they not, they not playing around, man. Okay. You see these Edomites that the racial tensions are high, man. These Edomites are, 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 the, the, are insulting you straight to your face, man. All right? You know? Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is uh, stirring the people up, man. All right? That spirit is in the air, man. All right? The spirit of civil unrest. Uh, okay? Somebody on the other side says or does, they are reacting in just crazy and, and exaggerated ways. So on one side... Con, because the people are, 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 are oppressed. Everybody's on... It's a bubble. All right. Everybody's living damn near paycheck to paycheck, if not in the hole, you know, shitty jobs, shit, working two, three jobs, woman, you know, you know, just woman, woman being a demon. Oh, you just, just every, everybody just stress, man, you know, you know. So, hey, <laughs> boy, people, true colors is going to show soon, man. I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's like a powder keg. It's a bubble. That's about to pop. A deep level of, in my opinion, partisan entrenchment. And what we have is you have some people who are going to side with Trump no matter what, even when he acts against basic conservative principles. You know, when Trump does a gun restriction, a gun ban, a silencer ban, a bump stock ban, that's something that should enrage conservatives. But having dug in on that side, they're just sticking to it no matter what. On the other side, you have progressives that no matter what somebody on the other side says or does, they are reacting in just crazy and, and exaggerated ways. So on one side, I think we have a high level, an over level of loyalty. On the other side, you have people who will not tolerate any view that disagrees with their view, with, with their core value system, that they're not open to discussing it. Well, so I think it, that's what's keeping well, people then, apart. Then, but, okay, let me go to Jen. I, what, what Arvin said, then it, is it, this is an age of irrationality because you're against your, the, uh, the, you're, you're against your opponent and you're going to take a position irrespective of what... Uh, 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 in, in an age of irrationality, that's the prime, that's the perfect atmosphere for protest. Just like you're seeing around around the world, all right. It's a, let 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 some uh, discomfort come to America. Let 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 the price of gas double overnight, as it did in, in other countries. Okay. Let um there be a mass layoff. Let let um let uh the government shut down again. Let 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 people's pensions get cut. Let let the banks default on their loan. Let 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 certain things happen. Let the people let let these people that are at such so these 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 careless Americans that are at ease let them feel uncomfortable for a little bit. They're they're, they're gonna become irrational. They're gonna riot. Uh, there's gonna be riots, man. Okay, and we we're getting close, man. We in them times. 
All right, it's nothing you can do to to stop it, man. It's it's inevitable. the The economy is hyperinflated. Okay, all right. It's this. Oh man, this place is through. Irrespective of your own values, it's not about values. Then it's about something else. Jen, what is it? Go ahead. Well, I do believe we are already in the midst of a civil war, and I, I think too. the first shot in the civil war I do three. was actually, yeah, was actually fired by the Obama administration the day they filed that first FISA request to eavesdrop on their political opponent Donald Trump in Trump Tower uh, in the twenty six. You know what? She she made a good point. E even though o Obama's a Hamite, we know he's not an Israelite. Okay, you know, o Obama set it off. He triggered it for, for them for them two for them two terms that he ran that 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 got the gears these Edomites it, it, they remember they have a perpetual hatred to, towards us okay so that that opened the floodgates for Donald Trump to eagle flace Trump to run on his you know on his rhetoric his so-called um, hate speech and all his uh you know his, his platform that he ran on you know that's why. You know, David Duke and the KKK could get behind him, all right? Because it was it was in retaliation for for, for putting a, a, a so-called black man as president, all right? Okay, you see. So she's right. That's when the Civil War really kicked off, man. All right, just like the Cold War been going on, been back in effect. Okay, you know, it's beautiful. We had some beautiful times, man. The Wadi Habashimi Hawashai. Destroy this place. Wa abad babal. Go ahead. Well, I do believe we are already in the midst of a civil war. And I, I think too. the first shot in the civil war was actually... Yeah, was actually fired by the Obama administration the day they filed that first FISA request to eavesdrop on their political opponent, Donald Trump, in Trump Tower uh, in the 2016 elections. And ever since that time, uh, we, we have been in a civil war, and, and the uh, Democrats can't believe uh, that the American people actually elected uh, a reality TV star, Donald Trump, and they just haven't gotten over it. And so there you see the, the rhetoric being ratcheted up, and what Marvin just said, it is amazing. You look at the poll numbers of 10, 15 years ago, uh, as a political strategist, you had about 10 to 15 percent of independents to work with. Now that number is down to around five or six percent. If you look at the impeachment proceedings and the independent views on those, uh, 47 percent of uh, Republicans feel uh, they should, you know, he shouldn't be impeached. And uh, 47 percent of Democrats say, no, yes, he should. And then there's only really six percent in the middle that are open minded. And those people, according to a poll out this week, aren't even paying attention. So you have the right versus the left and not very many people in between. Rich, same question to you in New York. Go ahead. Well, I, I happen to agree. I think we're in a cold civil war. I believe what's happening is we're seeing that the Democrats and the, the far left are just not going to accept the, the results of the 2016 election. And they're going to use any method they can to try to take President Trump down. And the problem that you get into here is that, you know, when do people stop, you know, People become so radical on that side that, you know, it doesn't just end with a censure. It doesn't just end with impeachment. Then they, they want to go right down the line. They want to impeach pretty much anyone who disagrees with them. And that's, yeah. a, that's a dangerous precedent yeah. to set. Um, I think it's very, very dangerous for our country as well. I mean, I mean let's, let's stay with that thing because I think that's very, very important. I mean, I, I, there was a time, and it was before 2016, that's for sure, where you could sit down and you could have a pleasant, constructive, even a a, a, a conversation where you would learn something new. I don't. I don't see any dialogue anymore. They look at you. They ask you a few pay, uh, questions, and it, because they, they don't agree with your values, and values translates into you're a good person or you're a bad person. That's not. That's not a political conversation. It's only been recently now where that is the case. Where if you don't hold values. It, you're beyond the pale. That is ridiculous. It's nonsense. And Fox does it all the way to CNN. Okay, I got. Let's be good to be fair here. Ar Arvin in Washington, go ahead. <laughs> I think what we're seeing is people resorting to non-political types of argument. I don't even want to call it an argument. Non-political methods of pressure and persuasion 
for political issues. Listen, we are a political country. We've always been a political country. We're supposed to be a place where ideas are debated. But instead, we have, you know, for example, on the left, you have the safe space culture, which refuses to tolerate any difference of views. You have people banning people from social events, entirely non-political events, non-political areas because of their political views. That is not that's facts. It's becoming very uncomfortable in the in the workplace because because a lot of people are, are having to hide how they really feel. Okay, you know, you know, just like just like what led up to the Civil War. All right, the actual the the the, the Civil War in America. You know, you had the people that wanted the so-called slaves free, and you had Edomites that didn't that didn't wasn't with it. But you know, if you was in the South, you couldn't say that. You know, you couldn't say that you wanted the slaves free. You'd be hungry. You'd be get ostracized. Same thing, vice versa. If you were you were in the south up north, you know it was it was awkward, and that's how it's becoming now. Okay, a lot of, a lot of these Edomites are not with the LGBT, especially the the, the far right. I mean, with left right, whatever whatever side, the Republicans. A lot of these so-called Christian Bible thumping Republicans are not with the LGBTQ agenda. All right. They were they were highly pissed off with Obama for it. Okay, so a lot certain views that you know they have they believe in the right to bear arms. They believe in freedom of speech, and a lot of these things are being attacked now. Okay, and and but like they said, it's becoming so uncomfortable at the workplace to talk about certain things. Okay, because you you could be talking about something, you could say say you're at the work at the at the so-called water cooler, and you know you're talking about. So trans, for example, trans, whatever your view is, view is, whether it's positive or negative. If it's positive, probably nothing will come of it. But if it's negative, you never know if, if there's a trans person around you, you know. So so you see what I mean? Like it's becoming very touchy and iffy and, and you know, very, very, very uh, t tense moment in society not a pol way of, of having political discourse, that's a way of just telling your opponents to shut up. I mean, that's a way of si trying to silence and bully any kind of opposition. And on the right, you're seeing the same thing, where where people who don't fall in line with, with Trump, even when Trump is not saying something conservative, are just bullied and shamed and pressured to conform. And this, this idea that what you, that your political views are somehow now part of your identity yeah. rather than your considered and analyzed opinion, that is a huge problem. When you start to, uh, to turn that... There, there is no, more, there is no more opinions anymore. You're, there is no opinion, all right? It's becoming a one world order, new one world government, one world society, okay? A total a, to, a totalian uh, society, okay? It, it, it's the, the, the what the wicked elite want, okay? Their agenda. Okay, they're forcing everything down your throat, just like they're gonna force that RFID mic. I'm gonna shut it down here, man. They're forcing everything down your throat, man. All right, they're forcing their agendas. All right, you're not, you're not, you have no choice. Okay, your children must learn about um, the alphabet group. Okay, you see, you, you know, or, or you know, they're forcing certain things on you. Okay, you know, we in them times, man. All right, hey, hey, like I always say, man. Hey, we getting close, all right? Hey, Lord's well in this video was edifying. Uh, matter of fact, let me let me hit that scripture one more again. I just want to shut it down with this, cause like I said, that's what I'm, I'm that's what I'm gonna title this, okay? Hey, and you see the homeless epidemic, you know, like I like I was saying, you know, it's a lot. Um, close it out with this again. Hey, it's beautiful. This is beautiful. We we in them times. We in them times. Uh, Isaiah 14 and 3, it says, And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord Yahweh shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. Give who? Give who rest? Yasharala. Okay, we're the ones being oppressed. We are the ones that built up all these other nations, heathen nations, uh, societies, man. All right? Hey, but this is this is the last society that we're going to build up, okay? Esau Edom society. And we're at the end of his empire. We're at the end of his empire, okay? All right? Thus say if you have a bunch of you shot, all right? Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right, we shall no more go get carried away into captivity again. All right, he shall he shall visit you. Okay, you're gonna discover your sins, Esau. Esau, Esau, eat him. All right, he's gonna visit you. All right, you're gonna drink of the cup double. Okay, 
It says, and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord Yahweh shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. All right, that thou that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How hath the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. The Lord Yahweh hath broken the staff of the wicked, Esau Edom, all right, and the scepters of the rulers, you wicked elites. He, he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, all right? He that ruled the nations in anger, all right? That beast, NATO in the EU, is persecuted and none hindereth, okay? All right? That whore, Babylon the Great, and that, and that beast, that whore, okay? America riding up right, that scarlet whore, all right? That red scarlet whore riding upon the beast, NATO in the EU, all right? The rebirth of the Roman Empire, okay? You red Hebrew Edomites, you're the ones that are oppressing the oppressing the nations, man. Okay, because you're according to Habakkuk, Habakkuk your desire is as hell. You can never be satisfied, man. All right. It says he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. All right, because you don't let up, man. All right, with the usury. All right, you know, you can never be satisfied. It says he that ruled the nations in anger. All right. It's persecuted and none hindereth, all right? Because Yahweh Yahweh is about to be on that ass, man, okay? And he's not going to meet thee as a man, okay? It says the whole earth is at rest, yeah, okay? It, it, and it's quiet. They break forth into singing, yeah, because the, the he that destroyed the, the time has come that uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to destroy them that destroy the earth, man. The wicked, he saw Edom, okay? All right? It says, yea, the fir, the fir trees rejoice. Yeah, okay, because what you do, you destroy everything, man. Uh, the, the Americas, North America, you know, was 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 a beautiful, par lush paradise with trees, man. And you cut all the goddamn trees down and put concrete everywhere, you know, and pile everybody up on top of each other, you know, in your goddamn skyscrapers, you know, you damn devils, man, all right? You, you just oppress everything and destroy everything, man, okay? That's why the whole earth is going to rejoice, man, okay? The trees, the water, the, the fishes, you know, the atmosphere, okay? The other nations are going to rejoice, okay? It says the whole earth is at rest and it's quiet. They break forth into singing, all right? They're going to be praising you. How about you, Yahweh Shai? Even, even the other nations, man, the heathen nations are going to be praising the Lord, man, all right? They're going to be put back in their lands, and, you know, after they, after they serve sl slavery, of course, okay? You know? But they're going to be in order, man. Everything's going to be back in order. Starting with Yahweh Shai at the top, and then and then his, his people, Yasharala, and his men, okay? And then you are the nations, okay? It says, Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no feller is come up against us, okay? And who cut the trees down like Esau Edom? Nobody, all right? All right. It says, "Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming, and it stir it stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones. It it hath raised from their thrones all the kings of the nations, and it says, all they shall speak and say unto thee, art art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Exactly. Okay. Because what?" They got that the equalizer now. Gog and Magog is coming to their defense, man. And then guess what? Your allies have have uh, all that eat their bread, eat your bread, have have deceived you, man. They've laid a deadly wound, okay. And they're gonna burn this place with, with missiles, man, okay. All right, they're gonna shoot missiles on this place and destroy you, okay. It says, thy pomp, all right, your pride, man, all right. The pride of your heart have deceived thee. Your terribleness have deceived thee. Okay? It says, Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vials. The worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. Okay? It says, this is the main point. How art thou, how art, art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down from the ground which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. Okay, read Obadiah. I will exalt my throne above the stars of Yahweh, which is us, the Israelites, Yasharala. Okay. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregations in the sides of the north. 
I will, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. That's what you devils said, man. You read Hebrew Edomites, man. But the pride of your heart have deceived thee. It says, Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man? Showing you that it's not talking about the, the spiritual demon uh, Satan, man. Okay? It's talking about Esau Edom. All right? It says, They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man? that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness, and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house of his prisoners. All the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, every one in his house. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable like an, like an abominable branch, and as the rem and as the raiment of those that are slain, thrust through with a sword, that go down to the stones of the pit as a carcass trodden down underfoot. Okay? I'm going to keep going because I read it already. But thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of the evildoers, Esau, Edom, the red Hebrew Edomite, shall never be renowned. It says, prepare slaughter for his children. Okay? For the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess us, the land, nor fill the faces of the world with cities. Okay? For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Shai, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith the Lord Yahweh. Okay? I will also make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water, for I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, saith the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Shai. The Lord of hosts, Yahweh Shai, have sworn saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass, and as I have proposed, so shall it stand. Destroy this place, Baba Kasha. Wa Abad Babal. All right, and with that being said, like I always say, we're almost out of here, man. Keep pushing. Shalom.